Oh yeah, I'm back again. Uh, sorry about the whole introduction thing there. Uh, first of all, I do all my videos on my phone, and I just wanted to like do like editing stuff. And uh, sorry about the lack of music, but um, I uh, don't have my laptop on me uh, tonight because um, it's been occupied. Um, anyway, um, I'm here tonight uh, with my next review in the series, um, Halloween Reviews Episode 2. So, tonight I'm going to be doing a review on Halloween 3 and 4. Uh, if you watched my previous video, you know, then this is the next one. If you haven't seen my previous video, then you, you better go back now. And you better go and, and watch it. Go on, go watch it. You know, I'll be, you know, I'll be right here when you get back watching it. Okay. Right, you've watched it, obviously. So now, next, Halloween three. After the sequel, Halloween two, uh, Halloween three, uh, John Carpenter saw potential in the series to serve as an anthology uh, theme thing. Um, and wanted to go with a different theme uh, in in each uh, film. Uh, this third one did not feature Michael Myers, and they even went as far as to abandon the whole slasher theme. John Carpenter remained producer. It was written and directed by some... I uh, can't remember his name now. But uh, he wrote and directed it, and... Uh, Basically, it's just like three masks, um, a pumpkin mask, a witch, and a skull, uh, and it's not, uh, yeah, and it's it's okay. Um, we we see the main character, the who's a, a doctor, a divorcee, who helps this girl investigate her father's disappearance or something or whatever, and um, yeah, that's. Uh, and then he goes investigating and meets this man named Mr. Cochrane, uh, who we find out later on in the film is an Irish warlock and has computers rigged up to a tombstone which um, which turns whoever's wearing the masks, turns their heads into maggots and cockroaches and a snake. Uh, with a flashing pumpkin. Throughout the film, he was advertising this big like giveaway and horathon to the kids on Halloween night. Uh, I think he he well, uh, Cochrane was destroyed in the film, but the doc he you know, stopped at nothing until he knew he could stop the broadcast uh, of the flashing pumpkin. You know, because that's what was appearing—a flashing pumpkin. Um, but yeah, there was going to be a happy ending where he stopped it altogether. But, you know, John Carpenter, they, they said that to John Carpenter, they wanted to do a happy ending. But the John Carpenter told the director, the writer and director, you know, he's the boss, you know, he should decide how it ends. And in the end, they went with an ending where he didn't stop the broadcast. Well, we don't know if he did, um, you know. But I don't think he did. I don't think he stopped it. Anyway, with that whole idea, you know, not taking off, uh, and it was a big flop, I mean, if you think of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, as a good you know, horror movie with supernaturalness in it, it is not a bad film. But I don't think it should have been called Halloween 3, or anything like that. Uh, Nick, uh, so yeah... After that, um, Halloween was off screen for five years until they made Halloween 4. Halloween 4 was rightly titled The Return of Michael Myers. Ten years after the events of Halloween 1 and 2, it's 1988, Michael has been in a coma for ten years and also within those ten years, um, Jamie Lee Curtis, she don't reprise her role as Laurie Strode. Laurie was killed in a car accident. And but she did have a kid, Jamie Lloyd, 
played by future screen queen Danielle Harris, and uh, and she is Michael's niece. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last video, that Laurie you know, is the biological sister of Michael. Um, well, yeah, that's it. That's that's what you need to know. So, um, yeah, we find out that uh, Laurie is his sister. Anyway, back to four. Um, Donald Pleasance, though, does reprise his role as Dr. Sam Loomis. Um what they do in it is they uh, is he is you know Jamie is Michael's next target and he's got a new mask he breaks out and everything and yeah he wakes up from his coma over here and the doctor says he's got a niece so yeah he goes out trying to get her and kills anyone who gets in his way and yes it's basically like a game of cat and mouse and then at the end, you know, Michael is sort of like falls into a gun down into a grave, and they drop a dynamite down there just to reassure themselves that he's dead. But uh, yeah, we then assume that's it for Michael Myers. But then at the end, it ends where um, you know Jamie has inherited some of her uncle's psychologicalness and kills her stepmother. No, not stepmother, foster mother. And then Dr. Loomis, you know, realises he's reliving the nightmare again because, you know, you know, uh, Michael was dressed as a clown the night he killed and so was Jamie. You know, she dressed as a clown for Halloween. So there Dr. Loomis was, all reliving the nightmare. No! 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 Sorry there, I just uh, got a bit carried away in the moment. But yes, um, that's how Halloween um, 4 ended. Um, and Halloween 5, about a year later, was put into production without a solid script. Uh, John Carpenter in Halloween 4 had involvement in it in being credited. Uh, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if he produced it. But uh, yeah... Uh, Halloween for so that's it for my uh, Halloween reviews for now um, here are some facts about um, Halloween 3 and 4 um, Halloween 3 the scene where uh, Cochrane is giving them a guided tour around the factory uh, is in a real Don Post factory that, that's what they are it's, uh, they're Don Post masks with the silver shamrock logo on uh, the chip with the, the logo had a chip in it which was triggered to the computers and stuff that's how the witchcraft happened as I forgot to mention uh, yeah but it was a, a don it was a real don post factory of real workers in that scene also um also um they they all don post already did have the skull the skull and the witch and they asked if they would make a third mask and they made a pumpkin you know which is you yeah. okay a pumpkin yeah i like that i like those free masks um so then after so um yep that's one fact about halloween free uh the next halloween four oh hang on back to halloween free um jamie lee curtis was not laurie in it but she did have a small part in it as an announcer in the small town in which uh, the film takes place in. She has a small part as an announcer. So she... Um, and you hear her voice in it. Also, you see small trailers of um, Halloween uh, in the film. It's like a bit of an Easter egg there. Um, so, yeah, that's... Halloween 3. Halloween 4, uh, the mask was altered quite a lot. I mean, they changed it you know, in the second one, but the fourth one changed completely because you know, Shatner's people and the Star Trek people noticed it and, you know, Shatner's people and that started wanting credit for it. You know, I mean, Shatner should be grateful, you know, they're actually using his face in something, you know, because it's, it's like he's a tight cast actor, you know. I mean, how are you doing for doing Captain Kirk in Star Trek? And also, uh, you know, he's like, you know, he's tight cast for playing himself in a lot of things. Um, 
Yeah, so... Halloween 3, uh, Halloween 4. So, yeah, the, to me, the mask looks a bit like a Bill Murray face. It does. Um, well, what else can I say about this video tonight? Uh, not a lot, really. I think that's... I've pretty much covered it. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Um, you know, and... Uh, if you like, subscribe. So, you know, till next time. Goodbye, friends. I'm doing the Halloween theme. Subscribe for more. I'll see you after this.